hey dreamers and welcome back to a new tutorial about stylized art as promised i'll explain and show to you guys how you can achieve the wonderful flat color style that we've seen in the last episode of let's dream but also how you can go beyond that style add a cell shading like effect and more but before we come to my scene, let's go to the original style and here a huge thanks to my friend Fluxy who was so nice to invite me to her game so I can show it to you guys inside of the scene. Here I also quickly want to credit Oscar aka Rocky with a Gun who I believe originally showed uh, this technique on Twitter. I'll link both of their accounts in the description down below. But now let's come to how we can actually achieve this style. First of all, we can straight away see that it's really important to use very solid colors. We can see it everywhere in the ground, the pathways. And if we turn out uh, the, the color amount of the grass down, we can see it really well how important it is to have solid colors. This is a general element of stylized art in general. And but it's also nice to have some sort of structure in it and a few different kind of shades or color in some sort of the structures as we can see with the roof of this house. Another general element of stylized art is to have some unnatural shapes, some curvy or edgy kind of shapes and to outline the, the structures with a whiter color. All of this really helps the, the general look of stylized art. But how do we actually achieve the flat color style? One of the key elements for that is actually having glow on our sculpts. And it's really important here to disable the emit light from glow option, otherwise our scene would just full of glow and brightness. But with that we kind of disable that and um, give our, our sculpts almost a higher saturation and value, which really makes the style pop out a lot. Um, for the finishes, waxiness, roughness and stuff, you can really try around for yourself. Mostly high waxiness and high roughness is a good way to go with. And yeah, same here with the paintings. We have a certain amount of glow. You don't really need to go with 40%. Fluxy usually said it's um, best to go with about 25%. And from my experience, I also went with around that amount and that works really well. But now let's come to another key element here, the sun and sky element and especially the gradient effect sketch it. So here you can also really try around, doesn't really matter too much, um, but what you want to do for a solid background sky is to have the color mount 200%, no horizon definition and the flag rate completely down. This is how you achieve super solid sky. Um, but obviously you can change that depending on your scene as well. But in the gradient effects gadgets, it's actually super important here. We have a very, very low brightness. We actually turn it down to minus, um, which is what I usually don't really do, but it really helps here. And the most important part here is to turn down the bloom completely. As you can see, if we have some bloom in it, it really lights up the whole scene in a way that we don't really want to for, for this style. So it's really interesting. We go for, for a lot of glow, but don't really allow the glow to light up our scene. And yeah, what she didn't try around with much is contrast, saturation and color variation. And I find that actually really interesting and that it still works super well. For example, here we could still have very vibrant and saturated scene or with a higher contrast at the same time, um, posterizing. Oh, you know, you guys know, I love the posterizing effect. And it actually works super well with it. And this is also part of the cell shading effect that I'll be showing you in a bit. Okay, so back to my scene. Um, you know, I didn't just want to use Fluxy scene to show you guys and I, I, it was important to me that I would create something myself and actually learn how to use it and maybe advance it further. You know, I didn't just want to show it to you without even trying myself. So I wanted to create something with grass and rocks and then it came to my mind that I want to do something with a windmill and then somehow <laughs> with the flow of working with dreams. I came out with this and I'm really happy about it. I think this is so lovely about dreams that it takes you anywhere. And yeah, quick overview here. Um, 
As you can see, lots of stylized elements in general in here. I did draw my own grass, which I think looks super lovely. I would love to have this as a flag. But yeah, here I'm quickly showing you how I still made use of the flat color technique with the glow. This switch shows what it would look like if I didn't have my, the glow on my skulls without you know, emitting the glow to the scene. And it does make a huge difference as you can see. And I kind of went from there. Obviously added my own kind of cell shading. Um, the grass is physical, that's the only way to make it move. If you see the shape, some of your artists will see that it's actually made as if you would make a brush in Photoshop for, for stylized grass, and that's how I went for it. I think it's lovely how you can combine these kind of things. And I also have a few particles in there, which is just for the rain. And yeah, some flowers, they all have this glow on it, and also these stylized rocks. Now, uh, on the water, we have uh, a huge flag as the water surface, the, the raindrops on the water surface and the airship are actually elements from the community. The rest is made by myself from scratch. And I also outlined the water with this white line as I mostly do with stylized water. And here we have uh, almost like a broken kind of airship maybe. Um, put a lot of structures in there you know it's maybe a lost place that hasn't been active for a while um, these elements are quite funny it's actually elements from the house <laughs> that are just reused as fences and structure of the island I wanted to look a bit steampunk a bit broken um, you know but still yeah, a bit like uh, arcane if you're watching arcane right now it's my favorite show right now it's so good I think it has a few elements of that. As you can see, I reused a few elements. I created the scene in just one day. Can you imagine that? And it's just how crazy dreams is. But yeah, now to how I actually uh, got the cell shading effect. And you know, it definitely helps to have these stylized shapes, elements and colors from the beginning. And then I brought into the scene these almost painterly like looking clouds and I'm just quickly showing you another cool feature, how we can actually really make it like a 2D painting with 2D animation effects, which I think is so cool. It's it's a bit of a mixer, mixture of different kind of techniques and styles in here. And I actually also made a very saturated and vibrant version, which works super well with the, with the flat color style as well, and with the style that I went for here. And this was actually the first version that I did and after I uh, did the stormy version. But here I just want to quickly show you the cell shading effect first. It's really crazy how much it changes when we change the waxiness or metalness finish with the cell shading effect on it. It's, it's just insane. And yeah, there I think you can see the most how it, des it definitely has that almost cell shaded like effect. And this comes through the shapes and colors that I used for the rocks, but mainly, of course, because of the posterizing effect. And the cool thing is, usually the posterizing effect affects your whole scene in a way that you sometimes don't really want it. But with the flat color style, it's almost like it's made for each other. It definitely works so well together in combination. And here you can see me try around a little more with, uh, yeah, the strength of it. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, this is all the things that I used and how to achieve the flat color style, how to add cell shading to it. And I really hope that it was helpful to you guys that you enjoyed this video. If so, definitely give it a like, some feedback and share with others so they can also learn about these techniques. As Fluxy said, she really wants to see more dreams uh, in the style of this and I can just agree, it looks so cool. I would love to see more games like that. And yeah, also big thanks to my patrons. If you want to support me as an artist or for the effort that I put into these videos, definitely consider to support me on Patreon. It's a really nice way to do that. And yeah, I have something really, really, really special coming next week, hopefully. It's one of the most exciting projects that I ever worked on and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell to not miss out on that. I'll see you next week. Have a good one.